Hi guys, Gun Collector 007 here, taking a look at a Microtech, and this one is actually a Microtech Macora 2. And as you see, it says uh, black, fully serrated blade. And this is a uh, yet another knife that I was gifted recently. So thank you very much to the person that gifted me all these wonderful knives. And this is a Microtech automatic knife or a switchblade knife or even belly knife, people call it, because this is what's called an OTF, which stands for out the front. So open in the box and there's a product manual, it gives you all kinds of information about Microtech. But this is the actual knife itself. And um, what can I say about this knife? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's uh, got carbon fiber inlays on it. Um, it's got a glass breaker slash uh, skull crusher, as they describe it. Um, it's a huge knife. It's overall 10 and a half inches. And um, like I said, it's the Microtech Macora 2. And <clears throat> just a gorgeous knife. A very strong spring, as you'll see in a second. It's almost uh, too strong. Hopefully it'll loosen up uh, with a little bit of use. But um, it's got some serrations on the side for gripping. But um, it's a type of uh, knife that if it was legal to carry in your area, um, it could be used as a knife or it could be used as an impact weapon. Like I said, it has this... Uh, impact skull crusher point on the side so you could either use it to bolster your fist if you're punching with it you could strike with it and then I guess if you really had a problem you just push out that button and you have that long beautiful sleek gorgeous blade and you could see it's a double-sided stiletto blade and it is fully serrated on one side and it is flat grind on another totally gorgeous, uh, deadly looking point on it. And uh, as you see, it's got this little thumb stud on here. So pushing it one way uh, deploys the blade and pushing it this way brings the blade in. And I use two hands because it's ridiculously hard uh, to pull that blade back in. But just a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, knife. Uh, this one was made in uh, 15 2015 and it's bigger than the Ultratech, I believe and uh, They call it a op uh, an Apolocryptic dagger type blade say that again fast, but uh, that's what it is and not much more I could say on it. It does have uh, Special screws on there. So if you wanted to take it apart um, You would have to have this special tool, which I don't have, but you could probably call uh, the guys over at Birdshot number four and uh, they have videos how to take this stuff apart as well as much more in-depth video uh, product detail than I could ever give. But um, uh, that's, that's, you know, as far as taking it apart, which would be out of my realm of ability to do so anyway. But just another deploying of it, it's just, you push that and you see that blade just, you know, shoot right out. And as you see on it up close, Macora 2, if it focuses right there, absolutely gorgeous. And look at the teeth on that blade. So it is unfortunately illegal for me to carry this knife where I live in the state, but I, it, it is legal for me to own it. So I'll just keep it in my home collection with a lot of other things that I have that I can't take out with me, unfortunately. But... Um, this knife, I mean, imagine you're being mugged and, you, and you know, and a guy came up to you and, you know, had something and you deployed this. I think he'd probably crap his pants, you know, just the sound and the look of it. It's almost similar to, uh, you know, when you're, they say you're racking a shotgun would scare someone. Just the sound of that, you know, just being deployed on, on a bad guy and he'd be, you know, pretty, pretty terrified. So this is really just an overview. I don't really do exact product reviews. I'm not that technical, but I'm sure there's a lot of them out there on it. But just want to give you guys a look at this uh, gorgeous, gorgeous knife, Macora 2 by Microtech. And a beautiful pocket clip on there. And it has uh, the Microtech logo, it says Microtech, and it has the date that it was made, uh, like I said, in uh, 2015. And uh, that's it. So. Thanks very much for watching, and thanks very much to the person that gifted me this beautiful knife. I truly appreciate it. So, all right, guys, thanks very much, and we'll talk to you soon.